Hello friends, welcome again. I hope you are enjoying watching my videos or the videos where I am trying to tell different features and uh, tutorials about MATLAB and Simulink. In this video, I will concentrate on Simulink project. It's a file management system provided by MATLAB. It's an inbuilt uh, tool. You don't need any separate toolbox for this. That's, that's quite interesting for Matchbox. And you can use this Simulink project and you can connect it to any of the version control system. You can either use SVN or Git. In this pro in this tutorial, I will show you how to use a Git version control to uh, connect to your Simulink project. So let's start. So before we create a Simulink project, let me create a quickly uh, um, Git uh, repository. So <coughs> I, I will like I will try to create one of the simplest possible git repository i'll name it just git server and probably i'll give a create a new file here for this and name it as test1 probably i'll make it as a test one dot m are you sure you want to change it yes i am sure i want to change it and now i would like to put some content to this so i just open it i put a percent sign this is my test one MATLAB script. I'm not putting any code as of now. Of course, I'm just trying to create a server out of it. I just go back one step, right click, go to this Git uh, GUI. You may have to install this tool, Git uh, GUI. Just search on Google and you'll get lots of ways to create this. In case you need any more help, just put in my comment section and I will give more information how you can install this tool so you can just click on this uh, create git uh, repository and the directory you can give is same c colon work similar project so basically i'm just typing from the top you can also use the browse button and you can just type it here and just create so this is one of these files so you have to rescan just for um, being on the safer side season and track okay yes and we can just put some command like first commit and then we we'll do a commit and then we we'll do a to push okay so we have not connected to any of the remote uh, repositories so we just cancel this for the time being and our git repository is ready now so i just close this so this is our server so now we'll create uh, let's say first we create one of the project my projects and now we'll go inside this and we'll create our first similar project inside this which is my project say for example i go inside my project go over here and in this new option, new uh, if you drop down, you'll get this option at the bottom most. When you click on the Simulink project, it will ask you what kind of Simulink project do you want to create? Do you want to create a simple project or like folder to project? Whether you want to create a blank project or code generation? But the one which we want is source control because in this video I will focus how to connect to a Git version control through Simulink project. So we'll select this, you have to just click on this and the moment you will click on this, this particular window will come up where by default it will be SVN. You may have to change it from SVN to Git. In one of my other videos, I will show you how to do it with SVN. Uh, but the steps remain almost similar apart from creating a SVN repository or SVN server which may be a little different step then you have to give the repository path so you can click on this change and then you may have to type the path over here which is probably uh, and i think it was it underscore server you can again use the browse button here or you can type it here once you have done it you can either click directly ok or i prefer to first validate and it validates whether this path which i have given is a valid repository or not it says yes it's a valid path in green so i click ok so now everything is set if i click retrieve 
and it says the file in the repository has been checked out but no project so when it says no project that means there is no simulant project which is existing inside that particular repository of course this was the first repository which i created without any .prj file so to create a repository I specify a name and click ok and cancel leave the file on disk and return and return you to the project retriever so there are two options it's giving so we'll click on ok we'll remain keep the same name as our folder name or you may choose some other name also so i click ok so once you click ok you will see that on the left hand side a new .prj file would have created so this is your simulant project file and simulant project also follows the almost similar concept of svn and git where they create a hidden file with an extension of .simulant project or .git if you are not seeing this then please go and uh, enable the hidden file uh, in from your explorer so you should be able to check the checkbox where it says that you should be able to view your hidden files so when you have checked that you should be able to see this dot git is for git repository and dot simulant project is the simulant project uh, file so this dot simulant project will contain all the information about the project file which we are creating right now and test one if you remember this was the file which we created inside the server folder if i go back here and show you the other folder inside this this was the file which we created and it just kept uh, had put some text into it so this got automatically retrieved from the repository of course if i click ok and please note this i am showing you from a folder uh, uh, a repository which i have git repository which i have created on the folder level but i will advise you to use a actual git server to when you are doing it in your real uh, uh, job or in your real um, task you should not try to do using a folder level uh, repository in git because that's not that uh, good in performance and that's that will not take a backup and the logs and all those histories will not be maintained very pro properly in the if you create a, just a folder with a, a git repository okay so now if you see this window is blank so similar project is a kind of project management system so in this you can manage the files and folders so why it's coming blank is because this is right now in project file view so we may have to change it from project file file view to all files view so if you change it then it will show you all the files which, which exist at this particular path it may not be inside this project yet so that's why if you see the status it shows dot so to include this into the simulant project you may have to right click and uh, add to uh, just click on this add to project add an update path so test one dot m is not on the project path so yes we will add and update the path so it did both the things so now it's added but when you have added this file into this simulant project your this dot prj file and dot simulant project file also got modified because there are some changes in this simulant project it now includes this particular file as well so if you go to the modified files you'll see that this shows the difference between your local files and the server file the repository file from where you have fetched this the git repository so these two files have changed and over here on the right hand side shows these are the new files plus means added file and uh, this is the modified files so we can what we can do is we can now commit these files i hope you know the basic jargons of uh, version control system so i will not go into the details but in short commit means you are putting the files from your local to the server so when i click uh, commit it asks for a comment so i can just put like my project committed okay i just click submit so no there are no more modified files so because the files which are in my server and files which are in my local is same which we will of course see by creating another uh, simulant project from another MATLAB instance we will do that shortly before we do that let's do something more let's create one more file here and uh, say for example we create uh, this time again a script and name it as test2 and probably we will like to give some 
text here again so this is my test to matlab script i do i comment it out so so you saw this file has also been included into this simlink project because the status is uh, tick mark over here and the reason behind that was because we created this file from within this simlink project window if we would have created something from here it may not have been uh, automatically included in the same simlink project and also not here we are right now in all files view like recommended is you should be always in project files view so that you know the difference whether which all files are in your simlink project and which all files are not in simlink project now since this file is been added new although this file is in simlink project but this file is not into the git so that's why this plus sign you are able to see that this is a new file which is which has been added so if if it was uh, in sync with git it would have been a green dot as it is shown before uh, above so we'll go to modified files and see this this file will exist in the modified files along with this file also this i am guessing that this project file and dot simlink project files should also exist and the reason being uh, because since we added this new file this file also got modified yeah so if you see this particular dot simlink project file is also in the list of modified files because the local file of the simlink project and the file which is in server are not in sync so we do again uh, commit test to dot m committed. So these logs are important for the version control point of view. You can see these logs uh, and um, uh, details uh, in the log history. I will not show that in this uh, particular uh, video, but if you are interested, just let me know, and I will uh, direct you to the uh, place where you can understand how to use Git or uh, SVN version control system. Now let's open the another instance of MATLAB. You can of course go through your command prompt and do it. I prefer to do open it from within the MATLAB. Another instance of MATLAB just by using the exclamation marks, which is equivalent to running any system command in the MATLAB uh, from the MATLAB uh, environment. So here is my second instance of uh, MATLAB. I go and create another new folder because I will create another. Uh, uh, similar project and say for example this time I name it your project and because what I am trying to test is in the first instance of MATLAB the files which I created the test okay I go here to test 1 and test 2 so whether all these files are in server correctly or not so if I get this from the second instance of MATLAB I go inside and again I do the same steps I go here and I start this simlink project again this window will come up and we have to click on this source control to get this window where we will again have by default svn so we change it to git and uh, sandbox path is correct and we change it the <coughs> git path to again we can uh, either use the blocks button or just type that the server is server and we can validate this it seems to be a valid server we click ok and we retrieve and see ok so again the project is not created because project is specific to your local so we just click ok to create a project file and ok so if you see the test 2 did not come that's a good good part so let's go to the first simulation and see what's happening so although it's, we have committed the files but the concept which is followed in the git is we have to we have to push those files to the server so that is the part i think which was left which i forgot to do it so i have not done it and the target reference is already up to date so i did twice so now it's up to date now if i go to the second matlab instance and if i do a fetch now it will it will update my local so if i am doing fetch and okay in git there is two step process first time fetch and then second time you have to do a pull unable to pull the changes and yes so there is some kind of view conflict so let's see what the view conflict is all about so we go here <coughs> we commit the previous file so project files committed and we click submit 
I know if you try to do a pull, again, so again there is a conflict. I know I am able to understand what is going on here. So if you see these, they are two files with PRG extension. So that is causing a problem here. That's that's the whole key of this conflict. And so that that we should resolve. So that that we can do using a Git, uh, some of the Git APIs directly. I'm not sure if MATLAB provides some features directly within the Simlink project to do so. But to quickly see how this Simlink project works, what we can do is we can create uh, one another uh, folder and see if we can have quickly something one more folder and create one more new simming project over there so uh, my word let me give you some programming name so we go here and we just copy this part because we'll need this part later on again I I think this time I have done the fetch and push, everything is fine, the target and everything is fine. Now this time again I start a, a new metal session. And so for the time being we will not use the second one. Because I don't want to focus on this video more on uh, git conflicts and rather than I want to show you the HO simlink project, how it works. So I go back to simlink project. and. I, once I click this source control, I change it to git, I go here, I get up git underscore server, I validate, which seems to be ok, path is ok, I start retrieving and this time, yeah, so this time you saw there was no conflict, nothing and both my files came and even my project files Came. So if you remember the first project file we gave is my project <coughs> So all, automatically this simulink project file is also created if you see the modified files is empty Now let's do something interesting here. Now let's create another new script or uh, Function probably which says Test3.m We just add something inside this test3.m Okay, I, I, I leave it like this. I leave it like this for the time. There is some something inside. And if you see again, there is a plus sign. So we go to the modified files. We see this file has been modified. We do a commit here and test 3.m commit. We click a submit. So no, don't forget to, to do a push. That is what I forgot in the first place. So when, when I do a push, no, this all this the new file test tree has been pushed into the server. Now, if you, I go back to my first <coughs> repository, then if I do a fetch and if I do a pull, see this test tree came here. So you so this is how both this first instance and this third instance. Forget about the second instance because there are some conflicts which we have to resolve. But all both these are connected to the same version control so you do changes at one place you automatically get the files at the other place so so this is one of the simplest way, way I can explain you about this uh, version control system you can feel free to play with different options they have uh, refresh option and give details you can see which repository it is connected to all those things you can do branching some modules and all those things and um, in my next video i will give more details upon how to use this dependency analysis and how you can also use this project path to set up your project and also you can set up the reference projects in this project short uh, shortcut if you go you you get a feature of referencing another similar project through the main project so those features uh, uh it's, it's over here so you can reference other projects so those features i will uh, highlight in my next video Please do like my video or subscribe to my videos in case you need more information and feel free to put comments uh, if you have any question. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.